We're dealing with generational stereotypes. I mean, it wasn't too long ago, if you think about the history of time, it wasn't too long ago where it was a women's places in the home, right? So now we've kind of gotten past that, but you know, traditionally your electricians, your plumbers, HVAC, welders, you just don't see women. So there's no role models. There's no one that they can look up to. So if you don't see your, your own self in that role, then you don't necessarily aspire to it. We have a variety of programs. We have everything from construction, um, carpentry services, diesel, auto mechanics, auto body finishing, um, auto trades. From my lens, they're all male dominated. There's a lot to that. I think there's a lot within society and in our own biases of what we think women can and can't do. Um, so it's a lot that's changing that narrative and changing our own biases when it comes to that. Um, I think there might be a little bit of fear as well, almost like the, the fear of the unknown. Some of our young ladies in leadership and our young ladies in training may not understand what exactly that um, career choice in construction, that career choice in welding, that career choice in auto might look like. So it's almost like um, demystifying the path a little bit and letting them know that it is something they can do. And also letting them know that the path can be widened. So we've made a commitment uh, with the other BOCES that we uh, join forces with across the state, uh, and specifically within our zone, so ones that are regionally near us, uh, to make a commitment to kind of boost those enrollment numbers to get more women uh, in your non-traditional programs. Um, we all have a few here or there, um, but certainly it's inequitable. Um, and it's about inclusivity more than anything. It's not even necessarily about women in the trades. It's about making everyone feel comfortable, making sure everyone has the opportunity to pursue a pathway that works for them. And if they do pursue that pathway, that we support them the best way we can. It's about the environment feeling safe and comfortable. It's about education. It's educating not only our female students, but more importantly, our male students, our parents, our component school districts. Um, that this is a place where a woman can thrive and succeed. And we all know that the labor market needs skilled workers, so let's tap into uh, an untapped market.